everyone it's Karen here and I have a new video today this is a more personal video because I'm going to be sharing things while I talk about my list of 10 that I've been doing lately uh, I'm going to be sharing personal things about me so this is kind of a get to know me kind of um, video but also this is uh, the video is specifically about 10 reasons why I create so I basically sat down one day and I just decided to figure out why, it, why do I create? What are the reasons why I create and I like um, doing all these things that I do every, every day, which is creating art. So these are the reasons I came up with and I'm going to kind of read them out. I mean, I'm going to go one by one and talk about each one separately. So the first one is the most obvious one. It's because I love it. I love creating. I love like just, you know, just touching the mediums to touching the paper, cutting it, just doing everything, manipulating it, just really love anything to do with creation. Even since I was a little kid, I used to basically, instead of in class, instead of listening to the teacher, I used to basically draw doodles and, and draw my name a million times in many different ways. So I was always um, wanted to do something to do with art, crafting and designing. And I just always, that's always been something that I love to do. So that's the reason number one, because I just love it. The second reason is, uh, it's what I already said, it's because I love getting my hands dirty. You know what, some people really like to, so I don't like playing with mud and things like that, although I find it really fun to like kind of the sensory part of it, but I really love the sensory part of art. The fact that you can touch things, many times I go into a painting, I really want to touch it, it's because um, I just love that sensory, that, that that 3D effect that art has, well, no matter what type of art it is or craft or whatever it is that you make, like it's just really, I just love that sensory part that you can actually touch it, see it, feel it, hear it, smell it. It's just everything all at once. So I really love that part and getting my hands dirty in like with all the different products, it's just really, really nice for me. Um, the third reason is because uh, I, it's basically now, well, like why I like it, it's my business now. I'm, I've actually like never thought that, I always wanted to go into something to do with art. I thought like graphic design or I, I don't know, like I thought to do an art teacher. I just really like, didn't, wasn't sure, but I knew that something to do with art was something in my path, but I just wasn't sure what. So, but now I've really found a way to make this like, you know, my business and I love what I do. So it makes it even double, like double the better, I must say, because I also have it as a business, but also have it as like, you know, it's an art and it's something that I love. It's not a hobby anymore. It's just something that I love to do. My next one is love. I love teaching others. And I always, you know, I always thought I was going to be a teacher. Like I actually applied for teachers college twice and got rejected. And I mean, not many people know this about it, but I just like, they didn't accept me for teachers college. Don't know why I really like, I thought I was going to teach like high school students first. Then I realized that maybe that's not even my path at all. And I, I went in a completely different direction and then art brought me back to it. And now that I teach, I love teaching. I love uh, going out to different stores and different countries and just teaching people. And it just brings me so much fulfillment. So I really love that part of art that I can actually teach as well. And teaching art is completely different than doing it. It's a whole different fulfillment on its own. Um, the next one, which is a really important one, is that it fulfills my soul. Um, really, art has done something for me that I haven't been able to do myself for many years, and that is fulfill something in me that uh, that it feels so close to everything that you know, like it basically tingles in my whole body. Every time I do art, I almost it's almost like I, for that moment, I'm in a different place. I feel like I. I forget everything. I even forget sometimes to eat or drink. And then when I finished the project, I suddenly remembered, oh my God, I haven't eaten the whole day. I have to go and I'm starving by then. But when I'm doing it, it's almost like an, I don't know if I want to say if it's an adrenaline rush because I don't feel very, very hyper, but I'm kind of feel like as if, as if my brain has been 
kind of transport it somewhere else and that's a really like you know it fulfills something in me that I can't even explain what it is and I'm sure it does for many people as well uh, the next one is um, I really love uh, to showcasing new products why I love art because I love that all the new products are coming and that it's really fun to experiment with them and just just like kind of like I love doing that I don't know what it is it's like gives me so much joy to be able to um, bring a product and have it uh, just like you know I play with it and have fun almost like a a new toy for a little kid so for me that is a, another type of fulfillment and why I love creating because I love like trying new things and I love experimenting that fulfills another part of me almost like that kid part in me that I really want to kind of bring out to the surface so that's another reason why I love to create um, the next one yeah, one of the really important one and that's something that it does besides it like when I'm doing art I really feel calm when I'm creating I feel the calmest it could be a whole whirlwind of things going on both in my brain or outside and I could just sit down and do something create something whatever it is doesn't matter what it is and suddenly I feel so much calmer so much better so much like you know like just relax and that's a really important thing because when your body is relaxed and your mind and your heart and your soul is relaxed that also helps with healing and I think that part of my kind of sanity or the fact that I am able to stay like you know sane with everything that goes on in the world with all the people that are suffering everywhere is that I because I have this art to uh, fall on like basically like have this art that fulfills me and calms me down when my in the times where I'm the most stressed and the most I have the most sorrow so I think that's something that one of the main reasons why I do it and sorry I'm gonna turn that off okay um another one is like uh, I really love like promoting other people and I like I, I love the, the the why I love to create I mean this is really not so much why I love to create but it's more about what I what I love about the fact of the our community and what has happened because I never thought that when I was creating all this all, like I started scrapbooking and I did art that I would actually meet so many people that are out there and from so many different countries and places and that has been a huge fulfillment for me not only meeting them but really becoming part of this community and it's why it's not really why I love to create but it's part of it like feeling like you belong somewhere that that are people there that love the same thing that you love and that's something really important that I don't think many people have and if more people had this there would be so much more love and in unity in the world so I think that's one of the reasons that actually is number nine uh, although I haven't been really counting um, and the last one it's a really important one and it, this one is kind of like a Kind of like uh, the one that kind of encloses everything and it helps me grow as a person I give thanks for this startup hobby like something that I just started as basically just you know doing pictures and scrapbooking and and scrapping photos to something I've seen myself grow so much not only as an artist but also as a person thanks to this and I'm just so impressed with everything that it has given me not only the amount of people that I met and I became friends with the fulfillment that it gives to my soul and the and how calm I feel when I do it and so many other things that are really you know just really are important in this life and although it is something that maybe it's not a necessity because I always like you know it's the struggle with whether or not art is a necessity but art is a necessity in a different way whether it is you connect to music or you connect to to uh, fine arts or you connect to crafting or you connect to any or dance drama art is so important even though it's technically considered a luxury and you know and not too many people not everybody can afford it any type of form of art should be part of your life 
so you can actually get the fulfillment that I feel. I really feel that it helps so many people to grow as a person, but also to fulfill their souls and to actually make them uh, better human beings. And I don't mean better in the sense of like, you know, like better than others, just better for themselves in this in, in comparison to who, how they used to be. And I find that art and crafting and everything that related to that gave me so much that I'm so thankful for that. And this is why the reason why I wanted to share this with you because I really wanted to have the, the 10 reasons why I create and really share that with you. So I'm gonna go over them with you. So the number one is because I love it. Number two is because it helps me release my emotions. I have so many times, uh, oh, I actually, no, I forgot that one. Oops, okay, never mind. So number two, from what I'm going back is actually because it helps me release my emotions. I recently did a video on the, um, on how, like, you know, I was in a very bad state in terms of how emotionally sad I felt about many different things that were going on. And I did a journal spread and I actually, um, and I will link that below so you see it, but uh, I actually did this and it helped me release those emotions. And after I did this, I felt so much better. And that was a really important thing. So that should have been number two. It should have not been here at the end. So go back and just, you know, pretend that this was number two and I'm gonna go back and read them again. So going back, number one, because I love it. Number two, because it helps me uh, release my emotions. Number three, because I love getting my hands dirty and trying and experimenting. Number three, it's because it's my business and now I love it because it's a dual thing and it also brings me income. Number four, I mean, no, number five, because I love teaching others and I love sharing that with other people. Number six, it fulfills my soul. Number seven, because I love uh, showcasing new products and experimenting and like just trying out and it's just really fun to create with new products. Uh, the next one, oh God, I, I keep on losing count. It's so bad. Um, promoting companies uh, and, that, and basically promoting my friends and meeting new people. So that was an amazing thing about this art. This was not, uh, I explained about creating. And number nine is calming me down. And then for number 10, which was the main one, it was like helping me grow as a person. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my little blabber here. I just think it's fun to sometimes do vlogs like this and not only do like creating uh, extravagant projects I really think that sometimes sharing personal things about me helps and please leave me a comment I really would love to know why you love art and why you love crafting or why you love creating and I just really want to know why you love creating this is so something that I would love to hear it, it could be the same things of what I said or something new anything is good Thank you so much. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and please visit my website today. I have a new website and soon in August I'm having a huge giveaway, a month long giveaway. So please subscribe to my website so, or blog, um, which is basically my full name, .com, KarenTamir.com. I will link it below so you can subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.